Mahumbanzarangara Yanjidovoga Good evening, everyone. 啊,我們現在開始講今天的課,那麼停課之前,請大家發菩提心。We uh, are going to begin now with tonight's teaching, and before we do, please everybody uh, make an aspiration of bodhicitta. 首先,簡單的說一下什麼叫做菩提心。First of all, I'd just like to talk briefly about what bodhicitta is. 菩提心就是大乘佛教的精华，也就是大乘佛教的灵魂，同时也就是大乘佛教的基础。So bodhicitta is the essence of the Mahayana teachings. It's also the soul of the Mahayana teachings, as well as the foundation of the Mahayana teachings. 也就是说，如果没有菩提心，就是没有大乘佛教。大乘佛教和小乘佛教的最主要的区别就是发菩提心和不发菩提心。So this is as much to, as to say without bodhicitta we don't have the Mahayana path. So the main difference between the basic vehicle and the greater vehicle is uh, bodhicitta. 自從我們發了菩提心,就是進入大乘佛教之門。From the very moment that we generate bodhicitta, we are considered to have entered into the gate of the Mahayana path. 如果我們沒有發菩提心,那這樣子的話,平時我們念這個大乘佛教的經,然後送大乘佛教 比如说密宗里面或者是现宗里面的一些轴，啊，但是如果没有发菩提心的话，实际上我们还在大乘佛教的门外。So even though we might uh, recite Mahayana sutras or chant uh, Mahayana uh, mantra of the tantric or sutric type without a motivation of bodhicitta, then we are still outside the gate of the Mahayana teachings. 为了大家, 呃, 
In order for everyone to understand clearly, I'd like to explain in the most simple terms possible what bodhicitta involves. Uh, bodhicitta is essentially two vows or two commitments. The so the first of these resolves or commitments is that to um, bring all beings uh, to eliminate their suffering, to bring them to happiness, to uh, see them liberated from cyclic existence. That is to work for the sake of all beings so that they may attain Buddhahood. This is the first commitment of uh, Bodhicitta. 第二个决心就是为了达到这个目标啊，下决心我要成佛，因为我们要让天下所有的众生离苦得乐，这样子的话，唯一的啊成了佛以后才可以完成，所以啊我就是为了达到这个目标，为了完成这个工作，我要成
So uh, first we need to gain an understanding of uh, why it is that we're talking about the Prajna Paramita and um, what in fact the uh, Prajna Paramita is, what it's about. Uh, <coughs> 端除我们自己的内心当中的各种各样的烦恼，然后就是端除生老病死的痛苦。啊，这个就是我们学波罗波罗蜜多的第一个啊目的。The reason that we study the Prajna Paramita, which is also translated in English as transcendental wisdom, is firstly in order to eliminate our various afflictions and secondly to eliminate the sufferings of cyclic existence, namely birth, degeneration, illness and death. Uh, <coughs> 就是提升我们自己的智慧啊，我们的智慧现在我们每一个人都有一点智慧，但是呢，这个智慧是非常非常有局限性。呃，就是基本上就是从佛教的角度来讲，基本上停留在一个中止这样子的阶段，还没有发
，让他们也就通过这个方法消除每一个人自己的内在的烦恼，然后逐步逐步的断除每一个人的生老病死的这个痛苦啊！我们参加到这样子的工作当中，就投入到这个行业当中啊，这个。大乘佛教就认为这个可以作为一个人生的啊目标，而且这是一个比较伟大的啊人生的目标。Ah, the life purpose or life goal that is given to us by the Mahayana teachings is twofold. Firstly, to eliminate. Uh, the suffering of cyclic existence for ourselves, the suffering of birth, degeneration, illness, and death, and、uh, secondly, to eliminate our afflictions, our negative thoughts, and negative mental states. And then, after having eliminated both of these forms of suffering for ourselves, we then go on to. Um, share this knowledge of how to do so with others, so that we can enable them to to eliminate the sufferings of cyclic existence and、uh, eliminate their afflictions. So,、um, taking part in this kind of activity, taking part in this kind of purposeful work, is、uh, seen by the Mahayana tradition as a very great, a very vast life purpose. 啊，另外一个目的就是我们把自己的啊这个智慧和慈悲心啊提高啊，通过这个大乘佛教的呃、啊、训练的方法啊，提高我们自己的智慧，然后提高我们自己的这个慈悲心啊，提高最后最大的这个呃、啊、最高的境界，提高到巅峰的时候呢，也就是佛的境界。那、啊、这个就到时候我们啊，达到了这个目标以后，然后又把这个方法告诉更多的人，让每一个人也就通过这样子的方法，把自己的慈悲心和自己的智慧提升到最高的级别。啊，这个可以作为第二个这个人生的目标。And the、uh, second of these、uh, life purposes is、uh, relying on methods from the Mahayana teachings to increase our wisdom and increase our compassion, elevate them to the highest level possible, which is the level of、um, of Buddhahood. And、uh, once we have elevated our compassion and wisdom in such a way, we then go on to share this knowledge with others, so that they too are able to elevate and increase their own wisdom and compassion to the highest level possible. 啊，那么、嗯、我们的烦恼啊，真的可以从我们的内心当中啊，让它消失啊。或者是我们的烦恼啊，生老病死的呃痛苦，或者是我们的贪嗔痴啊等等这些烦恼，真的从我们的内心当中把它分离出去吗？啊，我们很多人呃可能有这样子的疑问啊。大乘佛教说这个完全是可以的啊，为什么可以呢？因为啊，这比如说啊，这个升起。抱怨、仇恨、贪婪啊、嫉妒这样子的所有的这些烦恼啊，都不是我们的心的本质啊，不是我们内心的本质。嗯，因为他们都是有一定的这个条件具备的情况下，就是突然、偶然啊产生的一个这样子的啊烦恼。它并不是我们的内心的本质，它不是我们内心的本质，因为它不是我们的内心的本质，所以这个是可以分离的。Many people wonder whether is it whether it is actually possible for us to eliminate afflictions from our minds, whether it's possible to get rid of our negative thoughts and emotions, whether it's possible to be free from the Sufferings of cyclic existence and、uh, negative mental states such as、um, attachment, anger, ignorance,、um, 
whether it is possible or not is something that many people have doubts about. However, from the point of view of the Mahayana teachings, it is completely possible. Um, negative emotions and mental states such as anger, spite, avarice, greed, jealousy, etc. are not our mind's nature. In fact, um, all they are are um, thoughts and emotional states that randomly arise under, a, um, under particular causes and conditions. And uh, because they are not the mind's natural state, therefore it is possible for the mind to be freed of them. <coughs>或者是我们从我们的内心当中要分离出去的那是身外的这些东西虽然是我们都放弃了但是呢没有任何的作用主要要放下的就是我们内在的这些烦恼 What it is that we need to eliminate or what it is that we need to cast away or to use uh, Chan language to let go of is not things that are external to ourselves, not anything that is outside of ourselves. If we were to give up all of our um, external attachments, um, but had not given up our internal afflictions, then it would be um, no use whatsoever. So what it is that we need to eliminate or to let go of is precisely our inner negative thoughts and emotional states. 所以佛教尤其是大乘佛教没有要求我们不是要求我们放下家庭工作生活以及生活当中的幸福快乐等等 uh, 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 so for this reason, Buddhism and uh, particularly the Mahayana teachings don't ask of us to give up our family or our work or life in general, the joys and happinesses that come with everyday life. We are not asked to give these up. Because <coughs> 在人间可以过着这个人间的生活或者是快乐，啊，但是呢，佛教就是提醒我们，啊，我们应该进一步的去创造，啊，就更加的幸福的生活，更加有意义的人生。The reason that um, Buddhism doesn't ask us to give up these things is because it is believed that the very fact that we have an opportunity to have this human rebirth in this life and to enjoy the good fortune of a human life is because of past positive or past accumulated merit and uh, past positive action that we have engaged in. So for this reason, uh, we are considered entitled um, to enjoy life's happinesses and pleasures. However, what the teachings do encourage us to do is to try to cultivate an even more meaningful and uh, happy kind of existence. 然后我们怎么样提神这个智慧的层次级别
啊，或者是根本就是没有信仰的。一个啊，甚至是根本没有信仰的一个五神论者啊，甚至是某一个啊，比如说一个懂武都是一样，只要有这个有情、有情感、有意识啊，这样子的人也好，动物也好，他们的这个内心的神处啊，是有佛心，他们的内心的神处最深的地方是一个。非常简单、非常纯洁的一个这样子的状态，并不是我们现在的我们的内心的表面的现象一样啊，那么的混乱，然后就是那么浮躁啊啊，那么复杂啊，它不是这样子。So how is it that we go about increasing our level of wisdom? Well, everybody here tonight, and indeed anyone without、um, religious faith whatsoever, an, an atheist person, and,、um, even an animal, so long as、um, the being in question is sentient, whether they be human or animal, they all possess Buddha nature. At the deepest layer of their mind, is a state that is extremely simple and pure, and nothing at all like the very complicated, turbulent outside layers of our current state of mind. Ah, we, um, 每一个人来说，我们不是很了解我们自己啊。为什么这么说呢？人啊，就是物质和精神。这两个东西结合的一个啊，人就是结合啊，成呃、啊、是精神和物质的一个组合体啊。那么、嗯、我们第一个，我们的这个身体结构，我们的身体当中的这些物质，我们也不是很了解。然后呢，我们的精神，我们更加的不了解，非常的不了解。所以这个当中，如果我们进一步去了解的话，那这里面有很多啊，我们可以通过这个大乘佛教的训练的方式，可以把它提升啊，提升到很高的这个级别啊，提升到很高的层次，一定会发现这样子的事情。None of us have a very good understanding of ourselves. All of us are composites of matter and mind. However, in terms of the physical matter of our bodies, our physical structures, this is not something that we understand particularly well. And as to the nature of our minds, this is something that we understand even less. Even so,、um, through relying on Mahayana methods of training our minds, it is possible for us to elevate our minds to a very high level indeed. Ah, our body, ah, without the world, ah, the body, 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 ah, 都不了解，我们每一个人都不了解我们自己的身体。So as to our physical body, um, uh, various um structures that exist at the micro level, such as cells and neurons, etc., um, these are not something that anyone really understands. So the first thing that we don't really understand properly is our own bodies. 然后。<coughs> 啊，我们的身，比如说我们身体当中的毛细血管，啊，如果把这个所有的毛细血管一个接着一个这样子接起来的话，啊，连接起来的话，就是可以一个人的身体当中的毛细血管可以达到十万到十五万公里，啊，可以在这个地球的赤道上啊。绕地球啊，三到四遍啊，三到四周啊。但是我们谁相信我们身体当中有这么多这么长的东西呢？我们从来都没有想到过。
As for the veins and arteries in our bodies, if they were all connected together, then it would be possible for them to reach a length of 150,000 kilometers. That is, it would be possible for our veins and arteries connected together to wrap around the world three or four times. However, that our veins and arteries put together could be so long, is not, uh, could, be, could reach such a length, is not something that any of us has um, Really given thought to. 然后我们的精神啊，比如说这个脑神经科学家啊，发现，比如说我们啊，动我们的手指头去弹钢琴的时候，然后就是我们的大脑里面的某一个区域是控制我们的手指头的啊。那么这个啊。练钢琴的过程当中，这个大脑的部分啊就会产生啊变化，会变大啊。然后呢，这个我们的手指根本就不懂啊，根本不懂，这是心里想想我在弹钢琴啊，但是我的手指从来都没有动过啊，从来没有动过，只是心里管想啊。用我们佛教的话来讲，就是一种观想。啊，那么通过这个观想或者是冥想，也同样的可以呃，这个改变这个大脑的这个部位啊，已经科学家已经发现了。那么这个精神的力量是怎么产生的啊？那么等等很多很多的我们精神上的啊，还有就是我们的肉体上的，然后他们两个的关系等等。很多事情我们一无所知。As for our minds, our neuroscientists have discovered that、um, when we play the piano and our fingers move, then this stimulates a certain area of the brain, and that by playing or practicing the piano, this area of the brain is enlarged. They have also discovered that if we don't move our fingers at all, but we simply imagine ourselves, or to use a Buddhist term, visualize ourselves to be playing the piano, then a similar、um, result will take place.、Uh, the same area of the brain will be stimulated, and it will—it is possible for it to be enlarged simply by imagining ourselves to be playing the piano.、Um, so. As to the nature of the power of the mind and、uh, our physical bodies and the connection between the two,、uh, these are questions that we really have no understanding of. So, our body, life, and spirit are not easy to understand. So, these things are complicated. So, these things are c o m p l 我们可以去学习的，然后学习了以后呢，通过这个大乘佛教的训练的方法，我们可以训练。训练了以后呢，我们可以把我们的这个智慧和我们的慈悲心，可以培养、提升，可以提升到最高的级别、最高的境界、最巅峰啊。那么这个就是叫做成佛。佛是什么呢？佛不是神。不是神仙啊！人类的智慧和人类的这个慈悲心，提升到最高的时候，提升到最高境界的时候，哦，这个境，这个这个境界，就叫佛，就叫做佛。谁有这样子的境界，谁就是佛。So the physical body. Uh, life, the mind, none of these things are as simple as what we have tended to、um, regard them to be. So there is much for us to learn. There is much for us to study. And through relying on Mahayana methods, it is possible for us to train our minds and to increase and grow our wisdom and compassion to the highest, most summit level possible.、Um, that is, to the level of Buddhahood. So, what is 
Buddhahood, what is Buddha? Um, Buddha does not refer to a saint. When we uh, increase our compassion and increase our wisdom to the highest possible level, when we attain this state, this is referred to as Buddhahood. And whoever attains this state is a Buddha. 佛教里面的很多的佛教的这些修心可以改变我们对这个生活的态度改变了以后呢然后我们可以在这个生活当中产生的很多的烦恼很多的痛苦都很轻松的可以解决 Many uh, Buddhist methods of practice and many Buddhist doctrines uh, sound very specialized, they sound very technical. However, it's very possible for them to um, be brought into a very close connection with our everyday lives. And um, through relying on them, through cultivating them to change our life attitudes so that our afflictions and sufferings can be resolved very easily. 我们为了解决这个生活当中的很多的困难，然后就就创造了非常辉煌的物质生活啊。但是呢，我们有没有还要解决的其他的痛苦呢？除了物质能够解决的痛苦以外，还有其有没有其他的痛苦呢？有啊
methods of the Mahayana tradition. Then, we have the uh 如果你想解决，那有一种方法，你稍微花一点时间啊，稍微下一点功夫，这些问题同样也是可以啊，可以解决，可以过一个更好的生活啊。如果远移的话，那我们就可以过一个这样子的生活，这就是大乘佛教给
and the reason uh, that um, people uh, entertain such hopes is because they are young, they lack life experience, um, and because they don't understand life, they don't understand how the world works, they're filled with a sense of great hope. However, gradually, as they come to understand life, they begin to feel that it is not as ideal and wonderful as um, they thought it was when they were young. So because of this, the number of people who depart their lives with satisfied minds are very few. 还有所有的这些烦恼、贪婪等等，那么这些呃，到底是我们的这个世界的问题，还是我们对世界的态度的问题？啊，这个我们要看清楚。啊，这个世界本来就是这这样，还是我们对这个世界的认知有问题？啊
啊，今天的这个课里面，我们讲这个理论，我们怎么样去解决这些问题啊？解解决这些烦恼的理论。然后明天的这个课里面呢，就是讲一些实际的实践的方法。So tonight, what I'm going to be talking about is the theory of how we go about resolving affliction. And in tomorrow night's teaching, I am going to be introducing actual practice methods that we can rely on to resolve our affliction. 首先，大家想一想，我们的这个生活当中的所有的痛苦，它是来自于什么啊？来自于我们所看到的、所听到的、所接触到的啊。也就是说，我们的眼、耳、鼻、舌、神这个五个器官、五个感官能够接触到的这个世界啊当中产生的，我们的烦恼基本上就是没有我们从来没有看到过的、从来没有听到过的、从来没有接触过的，不一般不会啊这样子的东西当中产生。平时我们生活当中的这些所有的烦恼，是我们看得见、听得着啊、呃，这样子的东西当中产生的。So first, I'd like you to、uh, consider where it is that our suffering, all of our suffering, comes from.、Um, in terms of、uh, what we See what we hear, what we touch. Indeed, our five sense faculties.、Um, uh, these are the cause of or the origin of our suffering. In general, those things that we've never seen, that we've never heard, and that we've never touched,、uh, don't form our suffering. 然后我们现在。进一步的去了解一下，我们看到的是什么，听到的是什么，我们的这个五种感官所接触到的这个世界，它到底是什么样子 ？So、uh, we need to go a bit further to look a bit further at、uh, what it is, the nature of what it is that our five sense faculties、um, perceive. 好，我们今天啊。这个方法是讲《般若波罗蜜多心经》的方法。So、um, the approach that I'm going to take tonight is、um, uh, drawn from the Heart Sutra。啊，《般若波罗蜜多心经》啊是非常非常著名的啊，几乎啊信佛的。不信佛的很多很多人知道的一部一部佛经。So the Prajnaparamita Heart Sutra is a very very famous and well known sutra.、Um, Buddhists and non-Buddhists alike have、um, know this sutra. 但是很遗憾的是什么呢？我们很多的，包括佛教徒啊，也就把这个《般若波罗蜜多》呢，《心经》呢。就是作为一个我们平时的一个念诵的佛经啊，我们认为去念这个佛经就有功德啊，但是我们不知道这里面在讲什么。However, what is extremely regretful is that many people, Buddhists included, only treat the Heart Sutra as something to be recited,、uh, believing that reciting the Heart Sutra has great merit.、Um, the fact is, however, that besides or aside from reciting the Sutra, most people don't understand its meaning. 然后我们更加的不知道这个《般若波罗蜜多心经》的内容。跟我们自己的人生有什么关系？跟我们的生活有什么关系？啊，《般若波罗蜜多》的内容可不可以用到我们的生活当中？如果用到可以用的话，那它会给我们的生活带来什么样的变化？啊，这些我们都不知道。Whether it is possible to、uh, connect the content of the Heart Sutra 
with our own lives, whether it's possible to apply its meaning to our lives, and if we do so, what transformations will take place. This is not something that、uh, many people really understand. <coughs> 般若波罗蜜多心经啊，为什么叫心经呢？嗯，就是因为这个佛经里面啊，佛经里面般若波罗蜜多啊，这个就是一个非常非常庞大的佛经。有一个啊，这个佛经大乘佛教里面呢，有一部佛经叫做大般若经啊，大般若经。那这个就是一个非常庞大的佛经。So,、um, in terms of the Prajnaparamita Heart Sutra, why is it called the Heart Sutra?、Um, in Buddhism, the、um, Prajnaparamita Sutra or the Prajnaparamita literature is very vast indeed, and the、uh, largest sutra is referred to as the Maha Prajnaparamita Sutra. 那么这个大般若经当中呢，就是包含了很多的般若啊，最大的叫做般若十万颂啊，十万颂，十万颂就是一个戒指啊，一个戒指当中呢啊有四行啊，四行，然后呢每一行里面呢有五个字或者是七个字这样子，然后就是。啊，一共都是一每一个句子，就大大概就是有三十多个字，嗯，然后就是一个十万个松词，啊，十万个松词，每十万个松词，每一每一个松词里面呢，就是有三十多个字，啊，那这样子就是一个非常非常庞大的佛经，就叫做《般若十万颂》。Uh, great, uh, this very vast sutra. There are、um, sutras of it is、um, condensed or、um, rescinded into sutras of different lengths. So there is the、um, Prajnaparamita Sutra of one hundred thousand verses. So within every single verse, there are four lines. Each line has. Five to seven characters, so each verse on average has about thirty、uh, words or characters. So, and there are one hundred thousand verses、uh, like this. So, it's a very vast sutra indeed. 然后，般若十万颂以后，就是有般若两万五千颂。Then、uh, going down from the Prajnaparamita Sutra in one hundred thousand verses, we have the Prajnaparamita Sutra in twenty-five thousand verses. 然后就是有般若波罗蜜多八千颂 And then we have the、uh, Prajnaparamita Sutra in eight thousand verses. 啊，这些都是大般若经 And、uh, these are all、uh, large. Um, Prajnaparamita Sutras. 然后这些所有的大般若经的内容浓缩了以后呢，就是变成了《金刚经》。《金刚经》也就是很多人都是非常熟悉的《金刚经》。呃，《金刚经》就有五千个字。And when the、uh, meaning of these larger sutras are condensed down、um, to、um, a very, to a very, to a, a sutra of a much、uh, smaller size, we have the Diamond Sutra. So the Diamond Sutra is one that、um, many people are very familiar with. It has five、um, words or five thousand characters. 然后这个《金刚经》的五千个字。再浓缩了以后呢，就是变成了《般若波罗蜜多心经》，两百多个字。And then,、uh, the condensed even further into a sutra of two、uh, hundred words, we have the Heart Sutra. 然后，两百多个字当中呢，也有一个精华，精华就是，呃，观自在菩萨。心生般若波罗蜜多时，照见无云皆空，度一切苦厄，舍利者，色不异空，空不异色，色即是空
，孔即是色，手香心识，以辅入世。哦，这几个字就是两百多个字当中的尤氏精华。And then within this two、uh, hundred、uh, word sutra, we have an even、uh, more condensed, or an even we it's, it's possible to locate the、uh, essence of this even further. And、uh, the essence of the Heart Sutra is the verse that culminates in the lines: "Form is emptiness, and emptiness is form." 那么这几个字当中呢，最关键的也就只有几个。啊，只有几个，几个就是“色不异空，空不异色”这八个字，然后“色即是空，空即是色”，另外的八个字，一共就是有十六个字。这个十六个字是最最最关键的、浓缩的、精华的。Of this、uh, verse that culminates in the lines that form is emptiness and emptiness is form, these、uh, two lines or four lines that make up sixteen words are the most important of the entire sutra. 好，那么这个是六个字啊。当我们有烦恼的时候啊，然后这些烦恼我们似乎是没有办法解决的时候，似乎就是。任何一个我们世俗的东西都用不上的时候啊，那这个时候这十六个字是用得上的。然后我们的生活当中任何一个问题啊，这个产生的这些烦恼啊，都可以用这十六个字来解决。These are sixteen words.、Um... Regardless of、uh, what kind of uh, negative uh, thoughts or emotional state that we may be undergoing,、um, if even if、uh, various ordinary means are not able to resolve our suffering, these sixteen words we will certainly be able to put into use.、Um, it's possible through、um, using these. Sixteen、uh, words for us to resolve any kind of suffering. In the Western society, for example, the Buddhist meditation, ah, ah, is practiced, ah, is a normal meditation, ah, a normal meditation. There is also meditation with joy, ah, already very popular, ah, especially in the United States, ah, is all over. 年啊、呃，七八岁的小学生啊、呃，小学里面都现在开始推广，非常非常的流行。嗯，那么为什么呢？啊、呃，不是因为不是因为信仰啊、呃，就是因为看到了它的本身的价值啊、呃，禅修的价值，慈悲心的价值，禅修对现实生活的作用。慈悲对现实生活的作用，发现了这个价值以后呢，然后有信仰的，没有信仰的，有其他信仰的，嗯，大家都在用。Uh, methods primarily shamatha meditation or calm abiding meditation and、uh, compassion meditation are extremely popular, particularly in America. People of all kinds of professions and backgrounds,、um, primary stu school students included, are、uh, engaging in these、uh, meditational practices. They are extremely popular indeed. And why is this the case? Well, it's not because、um, All these people have Buddhist faith. It's because they directly perceive the value that these meditation methods can bring them:、um, the value of compassion meditation, the、um, benefits of meditation in their everyday lives. So, people of、um, uh, religious Uh, with religious faith and people with no religious religious background whatsoever are all applying these meditation methods. Ah, 大家想想，就是啊，科技这么发达啊，然后就是物质生活啊，就是很丰富。这样子的时候呢，为什么还需要这个像啊禅修啊？
慈悲心啊、呃、这样子的东西啊、呃，为什么还要这些东西呢？啊、呃，就是这些都是啊、呃，直少就是三千年以前的文化。三千年以前的东西啊，为什么我们二十一世纪的时候呢？为什么还还需要啊？还需要用这些？嗯，为什么我们的生活当中还啊非常的明显啊？他们的这他们的价值为什么还那么明显啊？那这个就是我们值得思考。所以，就是佛教里面呢，有一些啊，这个我们生活当中。可以用得上的，然后如果我们的要求如果再高一点的话，那就是可以提升我们的智慧，然后我们的烦恼从本质上可以解决的这样子的方法啊，确实是有的。So,、um, in an age where science and technology are as advanced as they are, why is it that we are still Um, looking to、uh, meditation, calm, abiding meditation, and compassion, etc., as useful and valuable, these traditions are over three thousand years old. Yet, why is it that we are in, still in need of them? Why is it that they still have value for us? Why is it that the, the value or the benefit、um, in our lives still remains obvious? Um, this is these are questions that are very much worthy of our consideration.、Um, in addition to、um, other benefits,、um, the use that they may bring to our lives、uh, through relying on these、uh, Buddhist methods of practice, it's also possible for us to increase our wisdom and to completely eliminate our suffering at the root.、Uh, this is. Entirely possible through relying on these methods. Ah, in the Western culture, very popular meditation. Ah, although it's a Buddhist practice, but it's a very basic meditation. Then, the Buddha's wisdom is in the Western culture is very important. Ah, it's very important. But it's also Ah,、呃、不是很高深的法，也不是一个很高深的方法啊、呃。那么这个《心经》讲的，呃，色即是空，空即是色，这种方法呢，啊、呃，就是不是一个基础的方法，是一个比较高端的方法。So the、uh, meditation method that is、uh, that are currently very popular in the West. Um, though deriving from the Buddhist tradition,、um, is quite a basic meditation technique, and、uh, compassion, of course, has great、uh, status. is、uh, regarded as extremely important in the、uh, Buddhist teachings. However, it's not an advanced、uh, method of practice. On the other hand. Emptiness is form, and form is emptiness. This is a very、uh, advanced teaching. We once hoped that the environment could solve all our problems, but now we have found that the environment cannot solve all our problems. The environment can solve a part of our problems. Then we hoped that the meditation and calmness 来解决我们剩下的问题啊！禅修和慈悲心当然可以解决我们的一部分的问题，但是呢，它也解决不了所有的问题。所以这个时候呢，啊，如果我们啊去读一读这个《心经》啊，学一学，然后把它的一些方法能够啊用到生活当中啊，这样子的话，剩下的很多的啊。这个问题啊，烦恼都可以解决。In times gone past, we、um, re- regarded that it was we felt it was possible for material means to address all our problems, and、uh, now we have discovered that this is not possible. That of course, while it's possible for material means to address many things, it's not impossible to address everything. 
So in terms of our remaining problems, um, it um, we have uh, the meditation techniques of calm abiding meditation and uh, compassion uh, meditation, and it is possible for them to uh, address um, further address our problems. However, these two meditation methods are not possible to solve all of our problems either. So um, in this event, uh, through reading the Heart Sutra um, and applying its approaches to our lives, it is possible for us to resolve all of our suffering. Uh 这个希腊哲学里面怎么怎么样 so we need to reflect on um, the suffering that uh, usually arises in our everyday lives and think about where it is that it comes from. Um, this is something that we should think about based on our own experience. We shouldn't say we shouldn't um, look to what the Shakyamuni Buddha said or what the sutras say or what Eastern philosophy says or what Western philosophy says. Just based on our own experience and looking at our own lives, where is it that our most common forms of suffering come from? Now, Yufitan 没有觉得他是很一般这个不是他之前不之前的问题And if we examine our lives and the suffering that routinely crops up in them, then we can see that our suffering usually has um, comes from or stems from our attachment, our sense of clinging. So an example might be an ordinary watch. Um, even though the watch is just ordinary, if we care about it very much, then it creates a great deal of suffering for us. Um, we can liken it to a child who really loves a particular toy that they have. And uh, if they lose it, then they feel very upset and they cry continuously. Of course, to an adult, the toy is nothing. It's just a toy. It's got no value whatsoever. However, it's not a question of whether the toy is valuable or not. It, it, the issue is that the child is very attached to it, and therefore, if he or she loses it, uh, feels very um, 
feels, experiences a great deal of suffering. So we can um, therefore see that in our lives, um, suffering comes from um, our attachment. <coughs> 我很在乎的时候我很喜欢他的时候如果失去了然后就会给我带来很大的痛苦然后比如说在过几年或者是几个月以后因为我们的人的心内心经常都在时时刻刻都在变他未来的变化是什么我们任何人都不知道今天我很喜欢这个表但是明天我会喜欢什么我不知道大家都不知道那明天我喜欢的是不是这个表谁也不知道这个不是我们可以控制的平时在生活当中因为我们的心它就是有一个它自己的这个发展的一个自然的规律
Sometimes um, the result of a particular change that takes place in our mind is um, one that we don't like. However, we're not in a position to change it. So, for example, when something happens and we feel unhappy, we experience suffering, we don't want to feel unhappy, we don't want to be suffering. We want this feeling to pass quickly, to disappear quickly. Um, however, it doesn't pass and uh, we don't know how to um, address the uh, feeling that we are undergoing. However, if we don't care about something, then there is no problem to start with. So um, this watch at the moment, if I was to lose it, I would feel very sad. However, if in another few months I no longer cared about the watch, then I wouldn't feel so sad if I were to lose it. In both cases, it's the same thing. It's the same watch that's being lost, except the um, effect that is um, this has on us is very different. Um, and uh, so what we need to look at is whether this difference in effect uh, that the loss of the watch has on us is due to a change or a difference in the material nature of the watch or whether it's due to a difference in our attitudes. Um, and by uh, thinking in this way, it's possible for us to see that there's been no change at all that has taken place in the watch the material nature of the watch, um, what has changed, in fact, is our minds, our attitudes. So, um, in fact, whether or not we experience suffering in a given situation is determined by whether or not we care or not about something, whether or not we are attachment, we, whether we are attached. So, all of this proves very um, completely that all of our suffering um, derives from mental attachment. <coughs> 啊，这样子以后呢，我们知道啊，这些痛苦都是跟我们自己的执着有有关系啊。那我们的执着跟什么有关系呢？跟什么东西有关系？我们为什么这么执着呢？啊，跟我我们的执着在乎是来自于我们认为他们都是真实的，嗯，都是真实的。我们把他们都当做真实，比如说我们的金钱。社会的地位，然后我们的这个名声啊，等等，所有的这一切啊，对我们呃、啊，我们特别的这个在乎。那么这个在乎，有些时候让我们感到幸福、快乐啊，这个满足也有这样子的时候。但是这些所有的满足、幸福、快乐走的。非常的快，然后这个过去了以后呢，然后有有后面就有一大堆的烦恼。那么这些烦恼，我们现在已经发现，这个就是跟我们的执着有关系。嗯，然后我们现在也发现，执着跟我们把它当做真实的东西有关系，有关系。那么最后呢，我们发现啊，最后的这个呃。呃，因素是我们把这个世界当做非常非常的真实啊、呃，跟这个有关系啊、呃，源头就在这里。源头是我们把我们的五个感官啊、呃，所感受到的这个世界，把它当做是一个非常真实的世界。我们从来没有怀疑过它到底存不存在，它到底真不真实，我们从来没有这样子怀疑过啊。呃我们理所当然的啊，就接受啊，就把它定为啊是真实的啊。这样子以后呢，我们把它当做是真实的，那就自然就会有这个执着。有了执着，自然啊就会有这个呃烦恼啊。那这样子以后呢，我们现在我们需要的是什么呢？我们要去了解一下。这个世界是不是真的？是不是真实？像我们我们所想象的那样子真实的东西。So、uh, now that we understand that our suffering is、uh, very much connected to our attachment, we need to look at why it is that we 
do form attachment to things. And um, we can understand that in actual fact, attachment comes from regarding objects as real, whether it be money or social status or reputation. These are things that we very much care about. Sometimes they bring us happiness and a sense of satisfaction. However, these feelings of happiness and satisfaction often pass very quickly. And after they have passed, they leave us with a great deal of negativity. However, now that we know that this negativity, this suffering is uh, connected to our attachment um, uh, and uh, that this attachment is connected or derived from regarding these things or objects as real, we can recognize that the fundamental factor here in our attachment and suffering is our tendency to regard the world as real. Um, and um, that, um, that is that the world that we perceive, that we experience with our five sense faculties, we regard to be really very real. We very seldom question whether or not this world that we uh, perceive through our senses exists or not, whether it's real or not. Um, we take its reality as a given and uh, regarding it in such a way to be real, naturally we form an attachment to it. And uh, forming an attachment to the world, naturally we experience suffering. So what we need to do from here on is examine whether the world is in fact as real as we have tended to think it to be. 比如说我们相信一个人的时候特别相信的时候因为我们从来都不怀疑他的所作所为实际上他的一些言行举止当中有一些是可以怀疑的但是呢就是有一些不正常的事情但是因为我们太相信这个人根本就没有在乎他的这个可以的行为所以我们一直都这么相信同样的这个世界我们非常非常的相信从来都没有怀疑他的表现当中有一些东西是可以的值得怀疑的但是我们忽略了根本就没有往这个方面去想因为我们太相信这个世界。So uh, it's um, just like someone that we really believe in, that we someone that we trust very much. We uh, don't question the things that they say or the things that they do at all, even though um, there may in fact be um, areas of their speech and conduct that are, that warrant our doubt. Maybe there are aspects of their what they say and what they do that are abnormal. However, because on account of the fact that we believe this person, believe in this person so much, we don't question them, we continue to trust them. And it's the same with the world around us. Even though there are aspects of its appearances that are worthy of our doubt, that warrant, uh, that warrant our doubt, um, we have never uh, questioned these things or thought about them because we believe so strongly in the reality of the world. 就像我们特别相信一个人的时候然后呢另外一个特别了解这个人就站出来说告诉我们你的这个朋友他是一个坏人突然间告诉我们他是一个坏人那这个时候呢我们可能就是因为很意外我们可能不太容易接受这个观点
，我们实际上我们不是相信这个实解，是相信我们的感官，嗯，然后特别的相信。那么这个时候呢，《般若心经》告诉我们啊，你相信的这个啊，你特别相信的这个感官，实际上就是一个骗子啊。啊，这个时候呢，我们就会一开始的时候对我们的触动特别的大，我们我们一定会觉得怎么可能不可能啊，不可能、嗯，它就是这么的真实的一个世界，怎么可能呢？我的感官怎么可能是骗子呢？啊，一开始我们不接受，嗯，但是不接受、拒绝啊、拒绝、不接受这些全部完了以后呢？这个后面我们还是静下来以后呢，我这个冲动、激动这些全部过了以后呢，然后我也会去思考一下，这个会不会这个另外这个《心经》里面讲的一样，这个会不会是一个啊、呃、我的感官会不会是一个啊、呃、骗子啊？然后他给我提供的这个信息会不会是一个错误的信息啊？这个时候呢，我们更加的可以的东西呢，啊、呃，是什么？就这个时候，我们立即就联想到另外一个问题啊、呃，比如说我晚上睡觉的时候做梦，嗯，啊、呃，梦里面的这个世界也不就是现在的一幕一样这么真实吗？啊、呃，那么我把它当做真实的时候，它就是在我的眼里，至少在做梦的时候，不就跟现实生活一模一样吗？但是新来的时候呢，全部都不在，都是假的啊。那么这个世界，现实生活会不会也有一天，那、啊、会是这样子啊？那这时候呢，我们就是呃，开始怀疑这个世界的真和假。So,、uh, just as、uh, if we really believe, we really trust a particular person, and、uh, someone else comes out and says and tells us that、um, this friend of ours that we believe in so much is a bad person. To begin with, we would find this extremely difficult to accept. We um, um, wouldn't um, really、uh, like. This, however, after、um, a period of time, we might find ourselves wondering whether it is in fact the case that、um, the person that we have、uh, believed in might be just like the, what the other person said, and it's the same with the world around us、um, that we believe in, or rather, not so much the world, but the, our five senses, our belief in our five. Senses,、um, we might find ourselves coming to wonder、um, after the Heart Sutra tells us that, in actual fact, our five senses are a cheat; that they are swindling us, deceiving us. We, to begin with, we、um, might find this very difficult to accept. We might regard it as impossible. Um, however, after the initial shock and after our initial refusal to accept this, we might find ourselves、uh, actually coming, starting to wonder whether it is、uh, possible. Just like the Heart Truth Sutra said that our five senses are deceptive, and、uh, whether it is that the information. Or the data that they provide us with are mistaken, and in、uh, thinking like this very quickly, we might come on to another question:、um, that is,、um, our dream world, whether our the world that we experience in our dream is the same as the world that we experience in our everyday lives. So,、um, if we wake up from a dream, then our dream world no longer exists. Is it possible that one day we might wake up from this world that we experience in our everyday lives? So, in、uh, questioning like this, we begin to doubt、uh, real and false concepts of what is real and false in the world. Ah, 这样子以后呢，我们的感官啊。就给我们的意识
啊，提供了一个错误的信息。然后呢，我们的意识就是根据这个感官给他提供的这个错误的信息，然后就是做出了一个错误的判断啊。然后就这两个就是一个恶性循环啊，感官给他提供一个错误的讯息，然后呢，意识又做了错误的判断，然后就这两个啊错误的信息和错误的判断当中，然后我们啊迷住了，啊迷住了。那么这个现在知道了这些都是错误以后呢，然后我们可以把我们的智慧。从这个谜啊当中解放出来啊，解放出来，这叫做超越啊，就是佛教里面就叫做超越，超越生死轮回。实际上，超越的是需要超越的，就是这个物质，我们的物质愚昧啊，就从这个物质和愚昧当中，要把我们的自我们的心啊解放出来。现在是什么状态？现在是我们的内心被这个无名啊物质，用佛教的话来讲，叫做无名啊，无名就是物质愚昧啊。那么我们的心就是被这个愚昧物质保保住了啊，现在保住了，现在我们就是舒服在这个轮回当中，没有自由。比如说。我们不想生气的时候呢，也要生气啊；我们不想难受的时候，特别难受啊。然后我们希望有一个拥有一个稍微愉快一点的心情的时候呢，总是得不到这样子的愉快的心情啊。那么这些都是说明我们现在就是在某一个地方就有问题，我们。不自在啊！我们的肉体要改变，这个就是不是很容易啊。当然，现在的这个真容的收缩就可以可以可以改变一些我们的面部的一些啊，但是呢，我们的身体整个是没办法，这个已经形成了以后呢是没有办法啊改变。那我们的心态是应该是可以改变的，但是呢，我们连我们的心态啊改变都很难。他生气的时候，我们不想不希望生气也没有办法啊。他很贪婪的时候呢？然后我们本来是我们不希望贪婪，但是他就是非要贪婪，嗯，然后嫉妒啊，然后就是等等这些仇恨、抱怨这样子的这个烦恼，让我们特别的啊不开心啊，所以我们不希望有这些，但是没有办法啊，我们控制不了。那么这个就是我们现在啊没有啊没有这个没有获得这个内在的自由。所以啊，我们的心还没有这些当中解放出来啊，所以现在我们的这个需要做的，我们平时讲的这个我们的智慧的提神，就是从这个无名、从物质当中解放出来啊，这叫做超越。So, in actual fact, it、uh, the process starts out by with our five senses providing our minds with mistaken data or mistaken perceptions, and then our mind, based on this mistaken data or mistaken、uh, perceptions,、uh, makes mistaken judgments, and、uh, this forms a vicious cycle. First, our mistaken perceptions, and then second, the mistaken judgments that we make on the basis of these perceptions. As a result of the operation of these two, we、um, become very confused. However, knowing or understanding the nature of, firstly, our mistaken perceptions and then our mistaken judgments, it is、uh, possible for us to liberate ourselves from this confusion. And、um, uh, in so doing, this is what we refer to as transcending cyclic existence. In fact, what it is that we are to transcend is. 
in fact our, our ignorance. Um, that is what it is that we need to go beyond or surpass. Um, and uh, in liberating our minds in this way, um, at the moment, however, our minds are obscured by ignorance and uh, therefore we are subjugated by cyclic existence. We have no freedom whatsoever. So even though we don't wish to um, manifest anger, we still manifest anger. Even though we don't want to feel suffering, we still feel suffering. Even though we um, wish to experience happiness, we can't attain this happiness. Um, so all of these things show very clearly that somewhere we have a problem. And in terms of our physical bodies, these are not something that it is particularly easy for us to transform. Of course, cosmetic surgery and various procedures exist today that can transform the body to a certain extent. However, our mental states, our minds by comparison, are something that we can change. However, this is already something very difficult for us. Again, our anger, we don't want to experience it, but we always do. Same with greed and jealousy, vindictiveness and other afflictions. All of these make us feel very unhappy and yet we can't control them. And the reason that we can't is because we haven't yet attained inner freedom. Our minds have not yet been lim uh, liberated. So, um, uh, uh, what we therefore seek to do is to increase our uh, wisdom and liberate ourselves from ignorance and uh, transcend the sufferings of cyclic existence. Uh, 就是心经里面讲所以不会有什么帮助所以我们明天最好继续停那么明天我们把这个剩下的道理和一些修行的方法就只有明天讲 uh, So uh, tonight due to um time constraints, um, we are going to finish now and continue with this tomorrow. Um, we haven't yet explained how it is that form is emptiness and emptiness is form. So everyone who has attended the teaching tonight, it would be great if you could come tomorrow night as well because what we have explained so far is incomplete and therefore it's not something that you'll be able to gain benefit from. So in tomorrow night's teaching, we'll continue to talk about the theory as well as introduce some practice methods as well. 好，我们最后大家来做回乡啊，回乡就是说我们把今天的听经问法的功德会分享给天下所有的众生，然后我们诚心诚意的希望以我们的这个功德能让天下所有的众生幸福快乐。很快就能够超越生死轮回这样子大家以这样子的心愿来回向 So we are going to end our teaching now with a dedication of uh, merit and uh, we do so with the wish that um, uh, the merit that we are sharing with all living beings that we have um, accumulated through listening to tonight's teaching may uh, benefit them and uh, bring them happiness and very quickly enable them to transcend the suffering of cyclic existence. 
Sonum de yi tanjı zın banyan toni ni be canan banşe Yiga na ji valun zın bay Çabin zolin doğa Şey 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 şey